Hi everyone, Happy New Year. 2018, wow, what a year was 2017. 2018 is gonna be a heck of a lot better. It's gotta be, right? We make what we make out of our each year, right? So, I thought I would come on and show you how I freeze my chili. Um, a lot of people have asked me about it. Uh, make sure that your containers are freezer safe. I tried the cheap ways and all that. I've had them split. I've had, I've made a mess. Um, this is just one of the good ways of doing it. Uh, I got this at uh, Ace Hardware, BPA free, micro, uh, microwave, reheatable, reusable, and durable. And uh, there's one and a half pints, pints and quarts there. And they're cheaper than the ball canning one. So I also have quart ones that I got at Gordon Food Store. Now these are freezer safe. And that would be for like if Bob and I wanted to have chili at the same night, which is very rare. So I'm going to bring you in closer, show you what I got. Also, I have uh, utilized my Tupperware uh, veggie veggie bin. Um, it's it's really nice. It's it, it keeps your vegetables uh, fresh longer with the uh, control of the open and closed or not. But if you're not putting vegetables in there, you can store anything other stuff in there, like I did. That's a lot of chili. So, and I just kept the vent shut. So, all right, let me bring it in closer. So, it's pretty much really easy. Let me drop you down. You see me? Okay. Pretty easy. All we're going to do is I kept out my pipe and a half pipes, one and a half pipes and pipes. Um, and I'll show you the difference. Keep the lids. I wash them and then I stuck them together thinking, oh, that's a good idea. So that's the difference from the pint and a pint and a half jar container. Just about a half a cup more. So let's get this going. My husband made this chili and it's so good. I would pressure can it, but uh, we used all of my canned goods. The beans were all ready pressure canned that I had pressure canned up. Um, we had freezer hamburger that we used, like a pound of it. And he threw in some corn and onion, of course, and the seasoning. And I did throw in some thrive uh, red and green bell peppers. And it was good. Anyways. So, it's not going to... Not very hard, you just take your container. You gotta make sure the tops are, you don't wanna overfill it. That's the big hoorah right there. Hold on. This. You don't wanna go up past the line because it's gotta spread. And I do kinda like push it down in there and like a deep bubble it. It's weird, I don't, I've always watched my mom do that, so I do it. Bless her heart. And it, it just, I think it freezes nicer that way. You see what I mean by deep bubbling? You just bump, push it out and take the bubbles out of the corners. There. Now, so there's that. Now you can just put the lid right on. Let me make sure I wipe it off. Now when you're using these, it's you don't have to put plastic or wax paper on the top. And when I'm ready for these, I take it out like the day before or the day morning of, put it in the refrigerator, let it thaw out. And I do burp it. And then I got my labels rolled out. And I let it thaw. And then I don't never use these to heat up. I have other um, 
like, like Tupperware microwave, heatable stuff, or a uh, casserole glass dish that we use. And it's dated and it's got what it's on and I'm not writing on the label. Well, that's it. That's all how I do it. And I will get these done up and then I'll come back and show you when I'm done. So I'm at the last one. What I forgot to give you guys a good tip on, when you buy these cheap, well, they are cheap, I mean, say it, but the freezer ones, make sure if it was a pint, put one pint. If it's a pint and a half, put a pint and a half in a permanent marker on the bottom. Just because it doesn't say anywhere on the container, then that way there you kind of know or if somebody else is doing it. And also another easier way to debubble is just to tap it and get it out like that. Make sure you get the seal on and burp it. I thought I would get more than what I did. I hate that. I know better than the right more labels out than what you do. Write them out as you do it, or else you always got one that's wasted because you thought you were going to have more. So I got two pint and a halves. That's great for my husband. And these are great pints. I've got uh, four pints to go in the freezer for myself or my kids or my husband. And they're all set. Like I said, make sure you get the air out of it and that the, lab, the seal is down because you think you'll have it on there it doesn't hurt to double check all your product because you don't want that going to waste and that would have been tossed out if I wouldn't have frozen it so I'm hoping this helps you guys um, give you another idea of how to sit, uh, save your food so with that big hugs from my pantry to yours have an awesome day.